What up, guys? I was just uh, thinking about this poster up here um, for a very specific reason. Because I've got a poster uh, over there. And two. Um, so the last Jedi poster has been up since, I don't know, mid-2017. So about probably about this time, 2017. So about two years now. Um, I got the last Jedi regular poster. Just never felt like putting it up. And then I got, um, I think I have a couple of the solo posters. Just never got around to putting it up. But I have um, the Rise of Skywalker poster. So I'm going to take this guy off the wall and down. And then I'm going to switch it out and we'll talk about a little bit about my uh, posters. So my poster frame is custom built by me and backlit. Um, I use cheap Amazon or um, maybe eBay LEDs behind it. But as you can see, like it's definitely not as bright as it used to be. I mean, that's it off. And it's with it on. Um, so I might do a side project and add more LEDs or replace the ones that are in there. Um, but not today. I just want to show you guys what it looks like when they are uh, when they're on. So up there on the wall, that's half of the uh, wall mounting apparatus we have going on on over here. Pull it off the wall. So you can kind of see the construction of it. It's just um, one by four, I think is what I built this out of. A one by four box of plywood behind it. And there's the other half that holds it to the wall. Um, then on the plywood is where the LEDs are obviously ran. Um, the frame itself that I have mounted to the plywood is, um, I can't remember the, came, the, 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 the company name for it, but uh, there, I think it's called a snap frame. And I'm not gonna do it because my post will fall, but the way it basically works, damn, this thing got hella dusty is all four sides snap up and down like that and then there's a clear plastic piece to protect the uh the poster from that action and just in general to keep it in in place um i think that piece was probably i think it was the most it was definitely the most expensive part of this build i think that piece was like 50 or 60 bucks on ebay i'll put a link of link down below um the box i probably spent i don't know ten dollars on wood maybe and then probably another ten dollars on the uh, leds so you know maybe 60 70 bucks roughly maybe 80. i'm gonna put links to everything that i did use in the description down below so you can uh you can shop for yourself oh and then there's a there's a guy whose video i watched to get the basic plans of building this um and i'll link his video as well so here it is we have been upgraded from the Last Jedi to The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I don't know, it might be the power supply or the LEDs are dimming out. Um, that might be a video in the future. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing me take some time to upgrade that. Other than that, it's my Star Wars video for the day. Um, I honestly, I can't do, remember if I did a. I should probably turn on the light. If I did an update on. Uh, I guess a pickup video or a video where I got these back and talk about who signed them all and everything. Um, still working on my vintage stuff. And then uh, some sports cards. I think I'll do a sports card channel, so if you're interested in that, let me know. I'll drop the link. I actually already made it, to be honest. Um, just haven't done anything with it yet. But that is it. I am out. Hey, thanks for watching this video. On the bottom left here, you can see I've got a room tour going on. Be sure to check that out. I usually update this twice a year. And on the right, you can see a sample of what my pickup videos look like if you haven't seen any of those yet. So please subscribe to see both of these videos. I try to do monthly pickups at a minimum and biannual room tour updates. But that is it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Thank you very much.